Hey everybody, my name is Ace Fangirl and welcome back to another episode of AI Somnium Files. Last time, we went home and talked to Mizuki, who was understandably kind of pissed off at us for abandoning her. Um, we got over it, we apologized, hopefully we're all good. And we talked a little bit about Mizuki herself, how she's very strong. It's a little weird. Um, but anyway, she wanted to come with us. We basically told her no, and now we're heading back to headquarters. Um, we didn't learn anything too, too important from her, but it was good to talk to her and make sure that she's not pissed off at us, which is always great, 10 out of 10 move. So let's get going. Maybe, maybe boss will have some more leads for us or something. Hang on. We might even have, oh yeah, okay, we have a good driving Before scene. we reach HQ, yes. let's summarize our investigation so far. We love that, 10 out of 10. Cool, okay. As soon as I look at everything in my car, of course. These are tasty when they're golden brown. That's a hash brown. I believe you're referring to hash browns. Close, so close. Dashboard, darling. Oops, sorry, center console. Glove box. Boxing gloves. Nope. A boxer puts his boxing gloves in the glove box. Maybe. Okay, that's pushing it. <laughs> All right. I was sitting in the passenger seat. Well, to be precise, an image of Iva is sitting in the passenger seat. I'm tired. <laughs> Likely because you haven't had a good night's sleep. That's that's true. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been this busy. If my body were made of flesh, I would offer my lap as a pillow. Right. Thanks, Queen. Awkward silence. What? You can't say something like that out of the blue. She did. Huh, now it's awkward. Oh, God. Hmm. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, I didn't see I could look at the rear view mirror. Mirror, mirror in the car. Who is the most handsome policeman by far? I don't see anyone. Why? That is Mr. Date, of course. Date, this is starting to concern me. <laughs> you really Aww. should get some sleep. Man, have I been able to look at that the whole time and I haven't? That's such a bummer. All right, uh, let's, we can talk about basically everybody that we've talked to, which is great. So let's start with Mayumi. Mayumi is suffering from dementia. Mm -hmm. If Mayumi followed Ota and Iris, why not remember? It is highly likely that she saw the person in the polar bear costume. Okay, sorry, I jumped ahead, but she might not remember. But... She might not remember. Yep. Correct. That is a bummer and a half. In a lot of ways. Uh, about so. There is only circumstantial evidence linking So Sejima to the new Cyclops serial killings. Yes, honestly. I, I don't think we really have anything to tie him to this yet. We just, oh, but maybe we can finish that story? I agree, but there has to be more to it. He just seems like a scumbag. The Kumakuras had connections to both victims. Right. So has a connection to the Kumakuras. You're grasping here. Actually, and also I want to correct something that I said um, a few episodes ago. I said that I think nobody has an alibi for Shoko's death. That's not true. The Kumakuras are the only ones that have alibis for both deaths. Um, I suppose they don't have an alibi for this brand new, you know, polar bear incident, but they do have an alibi for both Renju and Shoko's murders, I believe. There's a common link there. They have to be involved somehow. So we're all on the same page. So also might have connections to Iris. Yeah, we still haven't figured that out either. Because So appeared in Iris's Somnium? Yes. Yeah. The whole making out thing. But that's like all we have on that. We haven't even like figured anything out. Uh, oh, we cast one again. Let's I'm more that. interested in the hired guns that So uses as bodyguards. Are you? Why? I did some research and discovered that Mr. Sejima hires substantial security. I mean, he is a politician, and that's not that weird. If all of his security staff are this heavily armed, Yakuza gangs pale in comparison. Is So trying to start trouble? Oh god, I hope not. Unknown, but there is definitely more than he is letting on. 
Okay. And about Mizuki. Mizuki did not have any new information about Okiura Fishery. No, but that's not... I mean, I didn't expect her to have a ton because her family's not involved in it. So I thought going here was going to be a little bit of a dead end on that front anyway. Currently, it seems there is nothing linking that company to Renju. Right. <sighs> so it might just be a weird coincidence, but it would be for sure a weird coincidence. Still, something's not right. Okay, uh, any other information? Anything? There is an important piece of news. Oh, cool. What's that? What is it? The Odoroki Man chocolate found at the warehouse. Right. Fingerprints were found on it. I'm assuming they're Oto's, right? Whose? Mayumi Matsushita's. Okay, I'll be honest, that was not what I expected. What? Huh? Mayumi bought the chocolate at the convenience store 812 on Koshu. 812? <laughs> this was captured on security footage. 812 stores are commonly called eights. Okay. Eight is not far from the Famisto where Ota stole the station wagon. I'm trying to think about what Famisto is. Like, because obviously 812 is 7-Eleven, right? So I'm trying to think of- the, I know that there's like multiple 7-Eleven type kombinis in Japan, and I'm trying to remember what Famisto would be. And I can't for the life of me think about it. Because I know there's like Lawson's or whatever something- is that, is that the other one? Hold on a second. I'm having trouble keeping the facts straight. So are we saying that she followed them all the way there? But how did she get there if Ota took the car? Allow me to summarize. Yeah, let's- can we go over it all, please? That'd be good. Please. Yeah, oh, they are, like, right next to each other, huh? The chocolate was purchased yesterday at 10.33 p.m. Mm hmm That's the same time Ota stole that car. Right. Correct. What conclusions can we draw from that? I have no idea. Unknown. Great, I'm glad I wasn't just missing something. All that is known for certain is that Mayumi bought the chocolate at an 8 store last night. Uh-huh. And that same chocolate somehow ended up in the warehouse. So we're saying she might have been there, is what I'm kind of gathering, right? Huh. Did she go there and drop it? It is possible. Well... We need to talk to her again, maybe. The problem is she's not gonna remember, right? Oh god, we're getting a call. Hello? Sorry to interrupt your brainstorming, but there's a call from the boss. Great, I was literally on my way there anyway. Connect me. Patch her through. Date, did you hear that Iris's operation is over? Oh shit, no. Yeah, I heard about it at the hospital. Just kidding. Yes, I did know that. She made it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, but she's still unconscious. Right, I figured she's probably gonna be out for a while. She's currently in the ICU. No visitors allowed. Yeah, I've, I've figured. All right. Ota, however, seems like he can talk now. Awesome. He's out of treatment? Yeah, he's in a general ward now. Great, we should go. Got it. I'll head over. I'll meet you there. Cool. Never mind. Forget going to headquarters. We're gonna all the way to the hospital. Hopefully this'll this will help, right? All right, 5.42 p.m. on Monday, Central Hospital. Great. How are you feeling, Ota? Now, you have no parental support, unfortunately. I'm really sorry about that. You know, surprisingly, I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> For someone who got stabbed in the stomach. I'm still under anesthesia. So I don't have any pain. Sick. All right, that's good. Yeah. Ota, I'm sorry to put this on you right after your surgery, but can you talk to us for a minute? Boss got right to business after introducing herself. I don't know why, but Ota seemed almost happy to answer. Maybe it was the drugs, maybe it was the high from surviving a life or death situation, or maybe it was because you saved Iris. Yeah, sure. All right. It's nice to have someone eager to talk to the police for a change. 
covered. Let's just see if anything used as a divider. Monitoring, measure stuff. Yeah, great, great, cool. Bed, bed. Hey, Date, I don't think I can sleep by myself tonight. I'm not getting in bed with you. Will you sleep with me? No. I'm gonna be honest, no, I won't. Why me? Oh, then that old woman over there is fine. Jesus. Old woman? Yeah, kill him. You, you survived a life or death situation, you just put yourself into another one. Bedside is table. it a bedside table when you move it away from the bed? Oh shit, asking the real questions. I suppose then it's just a table. Probably. Bedside table on the bedside. LCD. Hey, Date, when are you planning on leaving? Bro, I haven't even asked you any- we haven't even gotten started. The good stuff is gonna come on soon. You're not watching that tonight. What? Why? Why? Let him. He he deserves it. Window. Boss. Just seeing if there's anything else I can look at first. All right. Should we talk to boss? Boss is standing on the other side of the bed. Uh, did you find any clues? Yeah, clues. If I did, I would have told you already. Shit, you're right. Uh, why'd you come? Just cause? I'm kind of interested in Ota. Please don't say that like that. Please don't. It's not. In me? Shut up. It's not what you meant. You protected the woman you love. Hot stuff. That's not easy to do. <laughs> I wanted to meet the brave little hero. That little. Hero? Little? I'm 24. To me, you're still little. Right. Uh, anything you want to ask? You can, you can go first if you want. I'll leave this to you, Date. Oh, okay. That's fine. Okay. Cool. Um... Did you hear about Iris? Let's start off. Her surgery was successful, right? Hmm? Yeah, thanks to you. If you weren't there, Iris would have been in real trouble. I'm Tessa's biggest fan. Yeah, I unfortunately am well aware. Any fan would have done what I did. I, I, you know what? I actually don't know about that. It's nothing special. It's as normal as garlic and ramen. Sure. I think that depends on preference. Me too. Honestly, I'm a little bit scared of my new power. Okay, don't get ahead of yourself. When I locked eyes with that polar bear, I saw him start shaking. I don't believe you. He saw how strong I was and got scared, no doubt. Notice how he's telling this to the woman in the room. Ota's body temperature is rising. Yeah, he's lying his ass off, of course. He's embellishing his story quite a bit. Obviously. I think we can let that go today. No. Yeah, you're right. Fine. We'll let him have this one. Oh. Um, yeah, about the whole walk situation. Oh, yeah. You hit me over the head with that walk, didn't you? I'd like an apology. Oh, oh no, uh, my boss. That was... Uh-huh. I thought I needed to protect Tessa, so... Yeah, I'm pressing charges. Isn't there something you want to say to me? Sorry. I'm sorry. Cool. Thanks. It's okay. It's not. But you're not gonna get a second chance. I'll hit you over the head with a walk first. I won't do it again. Uh-huh. I swear on Ganesha. Okay, interesting choice. You should swear to a god that's a little closer, kid. <laughs> Alright, now, the real question. Do we look at him? He's lying in bed, okay. Who stabbed you? Were you watching the stream? Yes, unfortunately. A big polar bear. The face of evil. Yes, I'm talking about who was inside. Do you know? Did you see them? No. Okay. Whoever it was was probably wearing that costume to hide their identity. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Oh, sorry. About- oh yeah, we can finally follow up on that thing. That's- Yeah, what is it? That- that thing. That one? That thing. <sighs> Sorry. I promised that I wouldn't tell anyone. That's cute. 
I'm the police. Then I'll tell Iris about your fake accounts. I, I don't know if that's gonna- I don't know if that blackmail is gonna work anymore, dude. Like, he saved her life. Those two things might counterbalance each other and maybe she's not gonna care. You know what happens after that, right? Everything you built up here is gonna come crashing down. But he did save her life. <sighs> but I can't tell you. Yes, you can. Why not? Calm down and think about it. The criminal who attacked Iris is still out there. Yeah, we need help. Iris might have seen the criminal's face. Whoever did this might come back to kill her. No. We need information, bud. If you want to protect her, the fastest way is for us to catch this guy. But to do that, I need information. Okay. Okay. Good. Glad we're on the same page. All right. Oh, now we can talk about a lot of things. Uh, what happened after you left Matsushita Diner? You mean after hitting you with the walk? Yes, thank you for reminding me so that I can be upset about it all over again. Yes. <laughs> Obviously. I took Tessa in the van and we ran away. Right? I drove for a while, then we decided to take a breather. I parked the car at Femisto on Koshu. Okay, so far this all lines up. I told Tessa I was gonna go in and buy something to drink. I got out of the car, and I went inside. Mm -hmm. But then, I heard Tessa screaming. Oh, to help! I ran out of the store as fast as I could. But the car was driving away! Damn, alright. I looked around. And I saw there was a car with its engine still on, and... The station wagon, right? Yeah, which you... Okay, so I was actually spot on. Yeah. Sick. Before I even realized what I was doing, I was behind the steering wheel. I didn't mean to steal it. I just needed to borrow it. Awesome. You're going to jail. The time was 10.33 p.m. Now we know why Ota stole the station wagon. Because his car drove away. <laughs> okay. After stealing the station wagon. I took the car, then drove out onto Koshu, but... You lost. I couldn't find the van anywhere. Yeah, that's what I figured. I searched for what felt like hours. You didn't contact the police. He did just steal a car. I thought... After I hit you. And also assault a police officer earlier in the night. You shouldn't have worried about that. But that's all that I was thinking at the time. The past is the past, you gotta let it go. I thought that if I called the cops, they'd arrest me. Yeah, they probably would've. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was panicking. And that's why I didn't realize it right away. Realize what? Yeah, what? My phone. I left my new phone in the car. Why is that so important? You probably track it. Because the phone had GPS on it. Yes. If I looked it up, I would find the location of the van. Smart. Yeah. So I drove as fast as I could to an internet cafe and looked it up. Genius. That's when I found out my new phone was at a warehouse near the water. Okay, and then you drove down. You know the rest. Yeah. All right, so we're caught up on that now. After running into the warehouse... Did you see me turn off the saw? Yeah, yeah, I did. That was pretty yeah, sick. Yeah, but everything after that was off-screen. Yeah, so I don't know what happened. What happened? Can you fill it in? I honestly don't remember much. My mind went blank. That's fair. I remember rushing the bear. Mm-hmm. And I think I was fighting him for a while. Okay. And we got tangled up. And then, before I knew it, he got me in the stomach with a knife. Yes. Okay. Um, what about the chocolate? I feel like that's kind of an end game question, so... Took the chocolate out of my pocket and showed it to Ota. Does this jog your memory? Oh, that. What? Do you know something about it? Yeah, what... Where did it come from? You don't have to show me the thermograph. 
Yeah, I know that he he knows. It's written all over his face. Absolutely. Okay, he's not gonna answer that. What about that thing? Remember when I told you about my day Saturday? I kind of lied a little. Okay, you shouldn't lie to the police. What did you lie about? You just shouldn't answer their questions. When I got to Sunfish Pocket, I saw a sign that said the place was all rented out. Right. That part is true. But after that, I said I went home, but I didn't. Cool. Where'd you go? I was hanging out in Akihabara for a few hours. Mm -hmm. Is that when you bought your new phone? Yeah. Okay, that checks. Why did you hide that? Because something happened after. What happened? What happened? What is that thing? This must have been about 8.50. I was going to cross the intersection in Akiba, and I saw Mr. Okiura's car at the light. Oh. But when I got close... I saw Tessa driving it. Oh. Oh. That's not great. Iris was driving it? Uh-oh. Whoa! You surprised me! I'm more surprised than you are! Yeah, I bet you are. Is something wrong? What do you mean? Hey, Tessa. Do you have a license? Yeah, duh. Oh, yeah, of course I do. Not have one. Right. You don't have a license? Shh. Yeah, shut up. There's probably cops around. Mr. Okiura asked me to run an errand. I had to borrow his car. That seems not safe. Please don't tell anyone. And also not true. Okay. You promise? Mm, so this is that thing. Anything for you. Cool. After that, the light turned green and she drove off. Was Iris the only one in the car? This is very important. Yeah, it was just her. Shit. Well, the only alive person in that car, probably. That's what I meant by that thing. Okay. And idle driving without a license is a huge deal. So I kept quiet. Mm hmm Okay. I guess it's, you know. Saturday at 6.15 p.m., Ota saw Iris and Renju together. Mm hmm They were leaving the Sunfish Pocket Building. Two and a half hours later. She was by herself. Ota witnessed Iris driving Renju's car. What are your thoughts? This is sounding really bad for Iris. It is indeed. But consider the current circumstances. Yeah, but then this happened. Iris had her left eye taken out by a criminal who is possibly the new Cyclops killer. And if Ota had not reached her in time, she would have been killed. Yeah, there's probably not a lot of getting out of that. What is going on here? Okay, what about the identity of the polar bear? You've Just got to make absolutely right? certain, you didn't see who was in the suit? You have no idea? No, I didn't. Voice? Body type? Nothing? Nothing. Sorry. Anything at all you can remember? I'm sorry, I told you everything. I can't think of anything else. Are you sure? Yes. Date, look. Is he lying? Oh, come on. He is lying. After all this, what is he trying to hide? Date, Ota is acting strange. Yeah, honestly. I advise caution. Yeah, what's... What do you mean? What do you mean? X-ray. What the fuck? Um... Is that a knife? I don't believe it. He's holding a knife. Yeah, to do what exactly? To threaten me? To kill himself? What's going on here? Why does he have that? Yeah, also, how did he get a knife? This is a hospital. 
And he like just got out of surgery and no one has come to visit him. Where the hell did you get a knife? In any case, you know what you have to do now. Punch this child. I know. Sorry, he's 24. He's not a kid, but honestly, he feels like he's like 16. Take the knife. Take it. Hey. Let me go! Let me go! What I will the hell not do you think do you're that. doing? Shut up! Just let me go! Oh my god. <laughs> Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. But you can still get information. Our second non-consensual sink. Coming right up. <laughs> Ugh. Hooray. <laughs> I mean... Wow. Dante, as you know, he did not sign a waiver. Please do not go over it. He definitely didn't sign a waiver. Won't be a problem. I don't think this was but covered are in you the sure hospital. This is okay? Ota just came out of surgery. Yeah, he's gonna be fine, right? If happens, I'll take responsibility. But first of all, you spelled responsibility fine. wrong. Just get it done. I saw two eyes in there. Good enough for me. Whoa, 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 guys, guys, guys. Okay. It's fine. We're, this is happening. Alright, what do we got? Where are we starting? A box. Hello. Oh no. Can you please take me with you? Alright, it's a little weird. But we are gonna stop here because usually I like to do, you know, each of these sinks in their own at least start of a video. Uh, just so everyone can prepare. <laughs> um, alright, in the next one, we're gonna sink with Ota. We learned a lot, but we also still have a lot of questions, and hopefully this will maybe resolve some of them? But I don't know, I kind of still feel like we might come out of this with more questions than answers. Cause like, so we have, we, we got that piece of information about Iris, which makes Iris look real bad right now, but we still don't really have any evidence of who's inside the polar bear costume, except for the Odoroki Man chocolate. And I'm not sure how that's gonna 100% like fit in yet, because all we know is that his mom bought it and it ended up at the warehouse. How did that happen? Maybe that's what the Somnium will tell us. Hopefully, but we'll find out in the next one. I'll see you then. Bye.